Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug Bisicodal, also known by the brands Dulcolax and more. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Bisicodal is an over-the-counter treatment option for constipation. Before we get into how Bisicodal works, let's very quickly take a look at our large intestine. Normally, the material that we consume eventually passes through our large intestine, and that material usually still has some extra water and electrolytes that the body can still use. So one of the functions of the large intestine is to help draw out or reabsorb some of that excess water and electrolytes as the stool is passing through. And the more water that the large intestine pulls out, the less water there is in the stool. This is known as decreasing the fecal water content, which essentially hardens the stool. This is normally a good thing. It helps to prevent excessively watery stools and the loss of electrolytes. But what happens if the patient has constipation, if their stools become too hard and difficult to pass? One way that we can fix this problem is to give bisicodal. Now, the exact mechanisms of bisicodal are not entirely clear. However, it is thought to act by restricting the reabsorption of water by the large intestine. This increases fecal water content, making the stool move more easily through the large intestine. Bisicodal also stimulates peristalsis, which is the involuntary constriction and relaxation of the muscles of the intestine, creating wave-like movements that push the contents of the intestine forward. Stimulating peristalsis can help patients with constipation. This is why bisicodal is considered a stimulant laxative. So like we mentioned, bisicodal can be used for constipation. It is often administered for relief of occasional or short-term constipation and not given long-term. However, it may also be used to treat constipation resulting from diminished colonic motor response in geriatric patients. Bisicodal can also be used for cleansing of the colon as a preparation for colonoscopy in adults. Bisicodal is available as 5 to 10 mg oral tablets and rectally as 5 to 10 mg suppositories and as a 10 mg enema. Dosing is typically between 5 to 10 mg once daily for constipation and 5 to 15 mg for bowel preparation. The most common side effects include abdominal pain or cramping, nausea, vomiting, and headache. Other side effects include intestinal fluid loss, which promotes dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, such as hypokalemia and more. So what are some of the contraindications and precautions? Stimulant laxatives should not be administered to patients with undiagnosed abdominal pain. This is because stimulant laxatives are contraindicated in patients with appendicitis or bowel obstruction. So avoid stimulant laxatives in patients with undiagnosed abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, or other symptoms of appendicitis or bowel obstruction. Always look out for signs of dehydration in patients taking laxatives, especially in elderly clients. Be aware of the potential interactions with bisicodal. Avoid other drugs that are known to cause hypokalemia, such as some diuretics, corticosteroids, and more. It's important not to chew or crush bisicodal, as the tablets are enteric coated. Also, do not take bisicodal within one hour of drinking or eating dairy products. And that's about it for the basics of bisicodal. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.